hello everyone let's provide a solution to this problem a to the power of 3 plus a equals 10 okay we are providing a complete solution to this but then you can decide to think what the value of a should be okay but then we are interested in showing all the steps so let's go. We have a to the power of 3 plus a. Take this to the left. It becomes minus 10. And then we have 0 on the right. Right? So now what do we do? We try to express 10 here in 2. As in divide it into 2. So we have a to the power of 3 plus a then minus 10 is 8 plus 2 right and that is equal to 0 okay you'll be saying why don't i use 5 plus 5 no you can express 5 in this form so therefore you cannot use 5 plus 5 now let's open this so that we have a to the power of 3 plus a minus 8 minus 2 equals 0 now let's regroup so that a to the power of 3 minus 8 will be grouped and then we have a minus 2 equals 0 now 8 here is 2 to the power of 3 so i can write a to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus a minus 2 to be equal to 0 now this is what we have to deal with okay to deal with this if you have um x to the power of 3 minus y to the power of 3 this is the same thing as x minus y close this then into x squared plus x y okay then plus um y squared okay so if you expand this this is what you're going to have right so from there what do i have my x minus one now becomes a minus two so I write a minus 2 here then into x squared that will be a squared plus xy that will be a times 2 and that will be 2a then y squared that will be 2 squared close it then we get to a minus 2 plus a minus 2 everything equals zero okay by the way this x minus y becomes a minus two okay not x again now what do we do we have a minus two a minus two so a minus two is a common factor and here i will have a squared plus two a plus four then plus this is already out but a minus 2 into a minus 2 will give 1 so we close this and equate to 0 a minus 2 is still a common factor then in here i will have a squared plus 2a plus 5 then we close this and equate to 0 at this point we apply zero product rule to say that a minus 2 equals 0 right a minus 2 equals 0 or a squared plus 2a plus 5 equals 0 now from here a will be equal to 0 plus 2 and our a is 2 this is one of the solutions okay now we go back to this equation which is a squared 
plus 2a plus 5 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation. And we can use the formula to deal with this. Right? But then the formula is... Um, we are looking for a now, right? Permit me to use another letter for this a. Okay, let um, let k be equal to a. Okay, meaning that anyway I find a, I'm going to use k, right? So we are looking for k now. So k is equal to, we have minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay i'm using k instead of a because we have a in the formula okay so a is a coefficient of the first term and that is one b is a coefficient of the second term and that is um two and c is a constant right so let's get our k our k will now be equal to in place of minus p I'll write minus 2. So we have minus 2 plus or minus. Then we open the bracket. We open the square root. B squared, that will be 2 squared. That will be 2 squared. Then minus 4 times A times C. And C is 5. Remember, everything is over 2 times A. And A is 1. Okay, so from here we have k to be equal to minus 2 plus or minus, we have 4 minus 20. This is over 2. Now k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16. Because 4 minus 20 is negative 16 and that is over 2. Now our k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus now this square root of negative 16 is going to be 4i okay this negative will be represented by i and it's imaginary so we write 2 over there now 2 can go here and the same 2 can go there so that our k will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus 2i Okay, so this becomes the value of k. But remember that k is equal to a, like I said before. So we can say that our a is now equal to minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i. Okay, so now let's get the three solutions together. a is equal to 2, the first solution. Let's call it a1. Then a2 is he is what we have over here minus one plus two i then our a3 is minus one minus two i so these are the three solutions to the equation thank you for watching to the end